though the alliance between Russia and the West broke after 1945, but the cause of conflict and tension had their roots back to the interwar period between 1920 and 1939. The tension started with the period of Bolshevik Revolution in 1917. The ideological difference between capitalism and communism were diametrically opposed. Communism was seen as a direct threat to the privileges, status and power of the elites that formed the government in the West. Withdrawal of Russia from World War I under communist regime created a stress in relationship between communist Russia and the capitalist West. Allies felt betrayed as the withdrawal of Russia from the war had put the burden of dealing with the mighty Germany alone on them. The refusal of Soviet regime to honor the debt owed to the West by previous Russian governments was a source of tension in international relations. The Soviet government's policy of nationalizing key sectors of the economy resulted in many foreign companies losing their investments. This particularly affected France where investors who were French had invested in the Russian economy put pressure on the French government to recover these losses. The Bolshevik government had executed Tsar Nicholas II of Russia along with his family members and Tsar Nicholas II was the cousin of King George V of Britain. This also created hostility resentment between Britain and the communist government of Russia. During civil war in Russia in 1917 to 1921, the allied powers Britain, France, USA and Japan had sent help to restore the Tsar's regime against Bolsheviks. This also fanned the hostility between both as Bolsheviks could not forget this attempt of these countries in plotting against their government. The activities of Comintern also raised concerns. This was a communist organization which had issued a stream of anti-capitalist propaganda that often incited people to overthrow their governments in the name of communism. This had alarmed the West. In the 1930s, the appeasement policy followed by Britain had created suspicion in USSR. Stalin felt that this was an attempt to strengthen Hitler and turn his attention away from the West and towards USSR. Russia signing the Nazi-Soviet Pact in 1939 with Germany had alarmed the Western powers. They felt that the two evil regimes had joined hands together plotting against the Western powers. Situation took a turn during World War II when Nazi attacked Russia in June 1941. At this both Britain and USA sent aid to the Soviets. This marked the beginning of the Grand Alliance. However, their perception about Russia did not change. The relationship between the West and USSR was still clouded by mutual suspicion which was common in the interwar period. Stalin had demanded the Western powers to open up the Second Front in Europe to take some of the pressure off the USSR in the East during its war with Nazis. The Allies, though, agreed to this demand, but said that they would not be able to open the Second Front until the time was deemed right. Stalin was suspicious and felt that they were deliberately delaying this offensive in the hope of seeing the Soviet Union permanently weakened by the continuing German onslaught. Distrust and suspicion heightened with the development of the atomic bomb. The dropping of nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945 sent a clear message to Stalin about the military superiority of the USA. Although the decision to drop the bombs was made in relation to the war with Japan, the failure of Truman to inform Stalin of his decision added to Soviet suspicion of US motives. During the World War II period, Soviet's foreign policy was based on strengthening Soviet influence in Eastern Europe and make it as communist satellite to prevent another invasion from the West. This policy resulted in occupying as much Eastern Europe as possible. To the West, this act was seen as an attempt to expand communism. Due to these ideological differences and historical background, the communist Russia and the capitalist West could never be a natural ally nonetheless the circumstances paved way for these two sides to form an alliance as soon as the objectives of both sides were achieved and the war was over the grand alliance ultimately broke up